The Sukhoi Su-57 is a new Russian fighter aircraft. It started life of the PAC-FA, or Future Frontline Aircraft System. Originally it was thought that the PAC-FA is an air superiority fighter, however it turned out that this aircraft has a secondary ground attack capability. This new stealthy aircraft was designed to replace aging MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. It can be seen as a Russian answer to the US F-22 Raptor. Development of this aircraft commenced in 2001. A T-50 prototype was revealed and made its maiden flight in 2010. In 2014 a pre-production prototype was delivered to the Russian Air Force for trials and evaluation. These trials were completed in 2015. It was planned that this fighter aircraft will enter service in 2017 to 2018 and should reach full operational capability by 2020. However by 2017 the aircraft was not ready for full-scale production. Most likely that setbacks were related to technical issues, incomplete development of some of its core systems, such as engines, new missiles and electronics, as well as funding problems. In 2017 the PAC-FA received a regular Su-57 designation. Russian Air Force has a requirement for up to 150 to 200 of these new multi-role fighters. Meanwhile the Russian Air Force orders Su-35 multi-role fighters as an interim measure, until the Su-57 stealthy fighter becomes available. By 2018 at least 9 Su-57 aircraft were built including prototypes and pre-production fighters. It was planned that in 2018 a first batch of 12 pre-production fighters will be delivered to the Russian Air Force. In fact in 2018 a couple of pre-production Su-57 fighters were deployed in Syria. In 2019 Russian Air Force ordered a first batch of 76 Su-57 fighters. Full-scale production began during the same year. Though in 2019 there was a first known crash of the Su-57. This new stealth fighter crashed during a test flight after the control systems have failed. This became a setback into mass production of this Russian stealthy fighter. Series production was slow. In 2022 only 2 to 8 Su-57 fighters were delivered to the Russian Air Force, depending on the source. These can be seen as a first production aircraft that reached the Russian Air Force. Deliveries of the 76 Su-57's W plan to be completed by 2028. It is claimed that the Su-57 will be also proposed for export customers. Despite the claims that this Russia's most advanced fighter jet will quickly dominate the skies, it has hardly seen any use during the 2022-2023 Russian invasion to Ukraine. Despite being referred as a fifth-generation fighter, there are some serious doubts about it, as some U.S. military officials referred the Sukhoi PAC-FA only as advanced fourth-generation fighter. Russia still lags behind in the development, acquisition and employment of some of the latest technologies. Though the Sukhoi Su-57 definitely has reduced radar cross-section and a number of other improvements over the current Su-35 multi-role fighter. Development of this aircraft was partially funded by India, which also planned to acquire up to 250 of these next-generation fighters, known as the HAL FGFA or fifth-generation fighter aircraft. It was planned that the Indian version will be different from the Russian version. Some sources suggested that the HAL FGFA will have a twin-seat configuration. However in 2018 India pulled out of the project, which it believed did not meet its requirements for stealth, combat avionics, radars and sensors by that time. Layout of the Su-57 is generally conventional. This multi-role fighter uses stealth shaping to deflect radar waves. Weapons are stored in internal weapon bays, that do not compromise the stealthiness to radars. This warplane has a radar cross-section of 0.1 square meters. It is less visible to radars than the, the previous Russian fighters, however in terms of stealth it loses badly to the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. This Russian fighter was expected to use two Saturn 117S AL-41F1S engines, producing 86.3 knots of thrust dry and 142 knots in afterburning. 
the same engines are used on the Su-35S multirole fighter. However during its maiden flight the T-50 prototype used a completely new Saturn engines, that generate more thrust. Exact specifications of the new engines are unknown. Some sources suggest, that the new engines produces 175 knots of thrust in afterburning. The Su-57 is capable of flying at supersonic speeds without using its afterburners. Two large internal weapon bays are mounted in tandem between the engines. There are also two side bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. It is believed that this aircraft will carry up to 7-500 kilograms of ordnance. That's enormous amount of weapons. This fighter has 10 internal and 6 external hardpoints for the R-74M, Western reporting name Archer, and R-77M, Adder, air-to-air -air missiles, KH-38M air-to-surface missiles, KH-31AD and KH-35U, as Wendy Kayak, anti-ship missiles, KH-31PD and KH-58USHK anti-radiation missiles, KAB-250, KAB-500 and KAB-1500 guided bombs. It is planned that the PAC-FA will be also capable of carrying BrahMos NG air-launched cruise missile, as soon as it becomes available. This fighter is fitted with a single-barrel 30mm cannon. This weapon has a firing rate of 1-500 rounds per minute. The Russian Sukhoi Su-57 will also be available as a twin-seater.